To navigate aircraft and ships or to find our way around a city, GPS may seem sufficient. But in fact, neither its accuracy nor its reliability are good enough. Therefore, for critical operations, one needs a more refined system with a guaranteed level of service. Such systems are commonly called overlay systems. Since March 2011, EGNOS, the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay System, has been given the go-ahead for guiding aircraft at European airports that do not have precision approach. Apart from increased safety and security, EGNOS is expected to bring financial returns over 20 years. And the benefits don't stop here. Where is the return? It's really in uh, the performance and better operations of the aircraft. If the aircraft arrives at the airfield, um, at some point it has to decide if it has visual contact with the airstrip and if, if it will land or not. If you can reduce that minimum, uh, because you have a better accuracy of your actual position and your safety margin becomes uh, smaller, then uh, there's less chances of a delay, less chances of a diversion, less chances of um, cancellation of flights because of bad weather conditions. So, how does it work? By using three satellites and a 40-strong network of ground stations, EGNOS improves the GPS signal to an accuracy down to one meter and with quality signal available 99% of the time. And EGNOS not only corrects errors in the GPS readings, but also takes into account atmospheric conditions that affect the quality of the signal. Over the past years, EGNOS has been tested and used in non-critical applications such as agriculture and mapping. It's also been tested to help the visually impaired find their way around. Hello, how can I help you? I'd like to go to the nearest bakery, but I didn't record the route. The control center, which uses the satellite signal to track the user's position, can then send her the new directions and obstacles along the way in real time. EGNOS is about improving the American GPS. But Europe has decided also to have its own system, which is called Galileo. So with Galileo, we're going to have a worldwide satellite navigation system that will fulfill the objectives of Europe, but also will serve citizens worldwide. At the end of 2011, the first two Galileo satellites will be sent into orbit on board a Soyuz launcher from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. After that, two more satellites will be launched to allow a true validation in orbit of the basic elements of Galileo. And Further launches will continue to be scheduled until a constellation of 30 satellites is deployed in medium Earth orbit. But to test the performance of the future European navigation system, we don't need to wait until all 30 satellites are up in space. Here in the Bavarian Alps, this valley surrounded by peaks rising up to more than 2,000 meters makes a perfect test bed for Galileo, the so-called gate project. We are transmitting the real Galileo signals by using eight of these transmitting stations and we are transmitting the signals into the valley to test Galileo equipment and receivers. The gate stations play the role of virtual satellites, encompassing an area of about 65 square kilometers. It's in this beautiful location that scientific preparations for future navigation are being made. We need to master the technology and have our own system, which we can control, which we can, for which we can define the services that it will provide, and that we can evolve into the future. So although the US, China, Japan and other regions, Russia, are developing their own systems, it is very important for Europe to have its own and not to depend any longer on the GPS. EGNOS is Europe's opening into ultra-accurate satellite navigation, opening the door to a world of new opportunities and bringing Europe a step closer to having its own independent system. <laughs>